President Trump meeting with Palestine, Palestinian uh, Association President Mahmoud Abbas earlier this morning. He's renewing efforts to bring peace to the Middle East. Our next guest is not very hopeful. Rabbi Marvin Heyer is with us, founder of the Simon Wiesenthal Center. Now, President Trump was pretty strong in attacking Islamic terror and the uh, ideology of terror and pretty strong with the Palestinian Authority leader. Why are you not hopeful for some kind of movement towards a more peaceful relationship? Well, <clears throat> first let me say that uh, President Trump was outstanding, a much more powerful speech than President Obama's speech in Cairo. He told the Arab leaders the truth. Now look, it could be that the majority of Muslims oppose terrorism, but the simple fact is that the overwhelming majority of terrorist attacks around the world are committed by Muslims. It's your issue. And he said, drive them out. Drive them out of your mosques. Drive them out of your communities. A very important message. Why well, am I not? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm why jumping am I in not too hopeful? early. I know I am. But why yeah. are you not hopeful? I mean, if that's if that's a forceful message delivered forcefully by our president, why are you <clears> not hopeful for some kind of positive response from the other side? Because Mahmoud Abbas is not powerful enough to deliver. There are two Palestinian entities, one in Gaza and one in Ramallah. The one in Gaza is Hamas, a terrorist organization committed to Israel's destruction. The only way you're going to have peace, if Mahmoud Abbas says, I'm the president of all the Palestinians, tomorrow I'm visiting Gaza. They won't let him in. Mm. And the world sits by and does nothing. The only real solution is the removal of Hamas from Gaza. When you remove Hamas from Gaza, both sides, the Israelis and the Palestinians, will be, will be able to make a deal. But I think that I give President Trump all the credit because he said the right thing in, in Israel, his support for Israel. But I think the task is very difficult because nobody wants to say the magic words. Remove Hamas from Gaza. How about another aspect of what the president was talking about? He looked at Mahmoud Abbas and said, look, you are rewarding the families of dead jihadis that is the law of the Palestinian Authority, knock it off. You think that's going to happen? I, 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 that's the only way that Israel, will, that Israel will, will agree to talk to the Palestinians. If they continue to pay, you know, handsome sums to the families of terrorism, I mean, they're just continuing the attacks, that we, the horrific attack that we saw today in, uh, in Manchester. Do you favor a more forceful approach in Europe and America? At the moment, it seems we're, we're slightly defensive, waiting for something to happen, trying to stop something from happening. Would you favor a change, a more forceful, proactive approach to known terror suspects? I think we need more political leaders like Winston Churchill and less political leaders like Neville Chamberlain. And we have too many Chamberlains. You know that, look at North Korea. Not, we wasted eight or nine years. What if we got tough with North Korea eight years ago? We wouldn't be where we are today. Okay. Rabbi Marvin Heyer, thanks for appearing on our program again, sir. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you indeed, Rabbi.